Hello everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. Just want to show you how to take off a mower deck on an LT1000 Sears Craftsman riding tractor. It is, uh, there's a lot of these out there. The LT1000 is just one of the LT versions. They have a lot of similarities on these mower decks, so this may help a lot of you out there. First thing you want to do is you want to try to do this on a concrete or asphalt surface to make it easier to slide the mower deck out. Second thing you want to do is put the mower deck all the way down as far as it'll go. If you have an adjustment knob in the center here, which a lot of them do, a lot of them don't, this one does not. Some of you guys out there have an adjustment knob for the height of your, of your cut. You want to make sure it's all the way down the lowest cut. You want to get this deck all the way down on the ground as far as you can go. First thing after, sorry, second thing after that is come around, we should get something new on here, and we have pins on the front. This is a bar that goes from the front frame to the deck. Now this pin I took out easily just for video purposes so you pull this pin out you just save them up on here you save them all up. push this you hold the deck up a little bit and push that pin out that's one then you come down underneath your mower deck here and we're going to have one right here this is what's the stabilizer and we're going to pull this pin out and i also hold the mower deck up and then pull that out and that's your deck hanger for your center you can put that down then you're gonna come back to the back of the tractor. They have a lot of these have a stabilizer bar on the back side, and you want to pull this pin out. With the stabilizer bar. I'm just using a pair of pliers. Pull the pins out. Makes it easier. Pull the stabilizer bar off the back of the off the back of the mower deck. Then I'm gonna go around to the other side and do the identical same thing. You're gonna have the front bar, which his is missing. That's one of the reasons why it's in here. There should be a bar here that goes up to the front. He lost his, he actually bent the frame. We're gonna to have to bend that back for him. But there's also the, in the center of the mower deck, there's also another pivot you have to take off by pulling the pin out. Put up here, I usually hold the mower deck up. If you hold the mower deck up, it allows you to take off this bracket a lot easier, All right? And then we have to put the mower deck in the up position. All right, so now that the deck hangers are up out of the way, we're gonna come around and take off the PTO engagement cable. PTO engagement, engagement cable is, actually, it's probably on the other side would be easier to show you. It's a pin that you have to take out. It's a little bit tricky to see this, but they're usually a washer and a pin, as you can see. And it's attached to a spring, which is attached to a pulley underneath your mower deck. That's your blade engagement. And then there's, let's go to the other side of the mower. Then there's a pin on the back side of your cable. Pull this pin out. And that will pull it right out of its holster or slot. And the cable will have the spring on the end and that's it. And pull it out of the way. Okay, now your deck, pretty much other than the belt, which is up front here, the belt will drop off the front pulley. You just pull it around the pulley and it'll come down. Now with the deck all the way, the handle all the way up so that gets your brackets out of the way, we're gonna slide the mower deck out. I usually slide it out. Shoot side first, I'm not sure why, it's just easier. Side. That's pretty much it. Your mower deck is off. Just do the reverse on the way back in, and then there's a way to deck level it, and I can show you that in a different video also. Thanks for watching.